Hello everyone and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the flow chart for uh, short term hydrothermal scheduling using gamma and lambda iteration. In the previous videos we discussed uh, short term uh, hydrothermal scheduling using gamma and lambda iterations. After that uh, the algorithm for the same. Now we are going for the flow chart. If you remember the previous video the algorithm for uh, above said topic the first two steps we are going to define the value of lambda gamma pgt pgh epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 okay this will be our step 1 and 2 in the algorithm now we are defining the initial parameters in any flow chart our first step is to initialize the parameters and we are initializing our six parameters they are lambda k gamma pgtk pghk epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and our next step is to define the value of k from algorithm step 3 k is equal to setting the value of k as 1 k varies from 1 to capital n we know that and our first step k is equal to 1 after defining the value of k we are going to calculate uh, the value of uh, pgtk and pghk pgtk and pghk also we calculate uh, the p loss from the coordination equations we calculate a uh, pgtk pghk and p loss from the coordination equations okay if it doesn't get the coordination equation please go through our previous video pgtk pghk and p loss from the coordination equation 6 and 7 from the previous video after calculating uh, these three parameters we check uh, the change in or the deviation in the power the deviation in the power is uh, calculated as a pd the total demand plus the losses minus the power generated through thermal and hydro hydro power generation at kth interval thermal power generation at kth interval after calculating the deviation in the power delta pk we compare whether delta pk is less than epsilon 1 epsilon 1 is the tolerance remember epsilon 1 is the tolerance for the power if delta pk is less than epsilon then we find a q naught of k if delta pk is less than epsilon 1 we go for uh, next step finding the value of q naught if no if delta pk is not less than epsilon 1 we increase the value of lambda k by small value del lambda k okay lambda k is uh, increased by lambda k plus uh, del lambda k after increasing the value of uh, lambda k we move back uh, to calculate uh, the new values of pgtk and uh, pghk also p loss okay after increasing lambda we move back uh, to calculate uh, these three values pgtk pghk and p loss okay if it is uh, less than epsilon 1 we find the value of q naught after finding the value of q naught we go for uh, checking uh, whether the iteration has uh, elapsed or not which means uh, k has reached its final uh, value or not if no if k has not reached the final value then we increase the value of k by k plus 1 okay we increase the value of k by k plus 1 and we move back to calculate uh, pgtk pghk and p loss you can see after increasing the value of k k is equal to k plus 1 we move back to calculate pgtk pghk and p loss if k is equal to n if k is equal to n we calculate uh, delta q check for uh, delta q whether delta q is equal to summation of uh, k is equal to 1 to n h of k q naught k minus q total if it is uh, within the permissible value or within the tolerance or not we will check for uh, delta q if delta q is less than epsilon epsilon 2 
if delta q is less than epsilon 2 which means tolerance value for water discharge if uh, epsilon 2 is nothing but our tolerance value for water discharge if it is uh, water discharge rate is less than epsilon 2 delta q change in uh, water discharge if it is not less than epsilon 2 we will increase the value of gamma by gamma plus del gamma if delta q is not less than epsilon 2 we increase the value by del gamma and we will move back to calculate frequency we will move back to calculate pgtk pghk and p loss okay we continue the iteration if it is less than epsilon 2 we will stop the loop and we will check for output schedules output parameters okay this is about the flow chart okay if you want you can look at the flow chart once again first step initializing the value setting the second step setting the k value as one third step uh, calculating uh, pgtk pghk and p loss after that uh, change in power we calculate change in power we will compare change in power with uh, the tolerance value epsilon 1 if no increasing the value of lambda if s yes, calculating q naught after calculating q naught we go for uh, checking whether k has reached its final value n or not if no increase the value of k and move back to calculate uh, pgt pgh and p loss if s yes, calculating the change in water discharge delta q after change in water discharge we compare it with uh, the tolerance value whether delta q is less than or equal to epsilon 2 if it is no, increase the value of gamma. If it is this, we will stop the equations. Okay. Thank you. We will meet up in the next video. Thank you everyone.